Hello, everyone. My name is Michael Hegstrom. Otherwise, I'm a physician in Sweden. I'm very grateful to be able to hear to uh, the presentation at Wikimania. And today, I will be talking about a project called Wikiversity Journal of Medicine. Wikiversity Journal of Medicine is an open access journal with no publication costs for authors. It started in 2014 and is currently located in Wikiversity. And this journal attracts reference text and images by means of scientific publication, which can then be used across Wikimedia projects. And um, it also accepts articles that are notable in their own right. And the journal is meant to help Wikipedia in some issues. Uh, it has been found that perhaps the biggest issue with Wikipedia is a lack of information in many aspects. You see, researchers and scholars often have a good sense of the whole picture of subject, but they may still not want to contribute because they want credit for the work, more than a mention in the history tab. Particularly, there is a shortage of images because I cannot simply use any image on the internet due to copyright. Um, I also want to say if you have any questions while I'm talking, you interrupt me too and, and ask them. Well, this issue is, uh, is particularly striking for medical imaging. You can uh, uh, create text and diagrams in your own words and designs. And then you can add uh, your source as a reference. But you can't, simply can't do that for, um, for example, x-rays and other graphic um, medical imaging. But this uh, must instead be copied from the original sources. However, very few published medical images have compatible licenses. And therefore, almost all medical imaging you see in Wikipedia are user uploads. But the, previously, these images had very little prospect of ever being peer reviewed. Here's a, an example of how an article may look like in Wikiversity Journal of Medicine. This is about a particular type of bacteria. And uh, this article also contains two images. These images are stored in Wikimedia Commons and can then be used across Wikimedia projects, just as you see here for uh, the corresponding Wikipedia article. And here's an example of a review article. And this is uh, in turn based on reliable sources. What you can then do is that you can copy the text into the corresponding Wikipedia articles and using those reliable sources. The benefit to authors in publishing in this journal is that you get a vast readership of uh, the published content. Wikipedia is, after all, the seventh most visited web page on the internet. And many articles have over 100,000 views per month. So examples of works that you can submit to this journal are case studies. Uh, then you need informed consent from any identifiable subject. And this would preferably contain images. You can publish reviews uh, when supported by reliable sources. It is also possible to publish original research in this journal, that is, where you draw your own conclusions. But this is not to be used in Wikipedia because of its policy against such content. And then the other way around, you can publish Wikipedia content in the journal, such as images, article sections, or even entire Wikipedia articles. The benefits of publishing Wikipedia content in the journal is that you get a certification of having undergone peer review, and uh, those, uh, that content can be cited in scholarly publications with a standardized reference format, such as you see here for this image that was previously published in the journal. All the submitted articles to the journal undergo a process 
And this process always includes a peer review. Then there is an editorial board, which then decides whether to publish works in the journal or not. The journal is designed to comply with, uh, for example, ICMGE recommendations, with the, which is from the International Committee of the Medical Journal Editors. And this sets uh, certain standards for journal structure, peer reviews, and peer reviewers. For instance, there, the journal has certain criteria for, for peer reviewers. Peer reviewers should have public contact information. They may also be anonymous, but then they need to be willing to be contacted by a member of Wikimedia's volunteer response team to verify their identities. Peer reviewers should also have expertise in medicine, and the exact nature of that expertise depends on the subject of the article at hand. If it is, for example, about a very particular subspecialty, we would expect the peer reviewers to have some knowledge of that particular field. And peer reviewers should be willing to state any conflicts of interests and not be part of the editorial board. So far, peer reviews have mainly been found by um, editorial board members who search for articles of similar subject to the submissions and then ask those authors to um, perform peer reviews. But it would be preferable if we had a group of established peer reviewers for all major subfields of medicine. Here's an example of a peer review, and it can be written directly on the talk page of the submitted work. And this peer review also comes with an attachment that highlights the locations of the issues that were found. The purpose of the editorial board of the journal is to decide what works to uh, include in the journal, based largely on the peer reviews. The current editorial board consists of seven members, from in different uh, areas around the world. Three are from Europe, three are from America, and one is from Africa. Regarding professions, five are medical doctors, one is a medical student, and one is a PhD. And uh, my own position here is editor-in-chief, so I have uh, and the overall and the final responsibility for operations and policies. A major advantage of the structure of the journal is that authors can write their works directly online. And this saves a lot of editorial work. Um, and after a, a, a submission is accepted and published, then further editing is restricted, because then you, would, you may need a new peer review. And this journal is also meant to serve as a model for journals in other fields. The second journal of science was created earlier this and um, hopefully, um, this model will be expanded to fields such as biology and technology as well. And there are many ways uh, you can contribute as well. And uh, the journal can be reached directly through the link here below, where you find pages where you can sign up to each of these tasks that I will mention. For example, you can publish an article, Credentials are not necessarily for this. Instead, it's the quality of the work itself that matters. We can perform peer reviews of article submissions. But this, however, does require expertise in the subject at hand. We can help preparing submitted articles. And such tasks include plagiarism checking, um, finding peer reviewers, as well as creating PDF versions of files that are accepted. And you may apply to join the editorial board and share your ideas about journal management. And a journal is also currently looking for a treasurer, which would allow us to apply for more grants.
When looking at the future, uh, it is possible that uh, this journal will be split from Wikiversity, because Wikiversity is more targeted at education, while this journal seeks to attract new knowledge. And possible names that have been suggested for this project as uh, a standalone project is the Wikipedia Journal, the Wikimedia Journal, or simply the Wiki Journal. If you have any further suggestions, I'm happy to hear about them. Oh, that well, was my presentation about this. Are there any questions? I'm going to switch to this one so I can pass the mic around if I know if you have any questions. Yes. <clears throat> uh, thank you. Just wanted to ask when you said it was restricted publication, uh, is that completely restricted after publication? At what point does it become fixed? The Sorry, I didn't hear you. <laughs> At what point does the article become fixed and, as you said, restricted from further editing? Is it restricted completely? Is it restricted from including the author? And at what point in the process is it restricted? Technically, right now, it is not uh, edit protected or anything, but um, um, those are all the articles of the project are uh, being watched and if... Um, uh, I would, for example, find that the meaning of the article changes too much. I would uh, revert it and say, um, no, we would need a new peer review before we can actually um, accept this change. Um, because many edits are simply like technical edits. And You're saying that you're allowed to suggest edits for technical corrections or that sort of thing. Is that, I'm trying to understand the process is it because it's different from continual editing in Wikipedia. Yes. Um, uh, well, uh, after basically having an accepted peer review, that's where we would say you, we shouldn't um, edit it much further. Well, it is still possible to develop an article, but then you, but then you would uh, still need a new peer review before you can actually have it um, officially published in the journal again. Hi, thank you. Publishing in this Wikimedia, how strong it is with regards to a personal own CV and uh, the faculty uh, recognitions for this with regard to other Yes, you mean if it has like any impact on, uh, on the your, established? your career as an academic career and stuff. If you, you publish saying? everything on this Wikimedia, what does it make instead of publishing in JAMA or in Nature? Well, you can do it without the cost and you get it open access because only a very, I think only 12% of journals are open access and uh, in turn, about 50% of uh, the open access journals, you need to pay a fee to have it open access. And uh, sometimes the journal may not want to publish it, although you have some useful information. And there, I think, uh, we can see that, oh, it would have been, uh, perhaps not have been uh, an audible work in itself, but you do have uh, uh, content that are useful for Wikipedia, and then we would accept it while other journals would not. But uh, yeah, it's not um, recognized yet. Um, I don't think many scholars would be very impressed if somebody says now that they have a publication in Wikiversity Journal of Medicine, but if this project becomes more established, we hope that um, it will be more accepted in that way too. Yes, over there. Let's see. I think. 
Um, <clears throat> yes, I was wondering about like, you know, when there would be formal updating of the journal, not just like tweaking changes, which is kind of what I think people were talking about now, but something, you know, significant happens that's related to the, you know, the, the article. How would that, what process will, will there be for making a formal update to what's there? You know, like a new version of it or, you know, that would be significant. Because that's one of the beauties of, of the process is that you can do that, you know, without having to, and link it to it so easily. Is that something that's been thought through yet or, or not? Yeah, so far we haven't had any instance where it is somebody needed to make a major change to a publication. So I think we will definitely we'll discuss what would happen more in detail if that would occur. Yeah. I don't think that's possible because if, if uh, real magazines cite this specific uh, research and they say that page, that uh, sentence, and you change it afterwards and the results are complete, a little bit different, then <laughs> how can you do that? I've been doing a Wikipedia in residence at Cochrane, and they actually do research on their same topic area and use the same topic name and often the same researchers, and they republish an update like every two to three years, another review. And, and, they, and they connect them together. It's a separate publication, but it's directly linked to the other. Yeah. yeah so I mean, that's fully, fully possible to do in this project. Yeah, so as I mean, well. something along those lines is what I was thinking of. So they would still be connected. So you would be building on what was there already because it's a direct building on something. Yes. You could, for example, have like a sandbox of how would the next version of this article be like? And then when you think that, yeah, it's, it's time to put this uh, to a publication, then you perform a new peer review and then you, you can still keep the old version uh, as a record too. Yeah, I think uh, <clears throat> one of the benefits of uh, the open license and also the, uh, the format that we use uh, for the peer review, uh, which is uh, uh, without fee, is that you can have a, an iterative process where it is possible for someone else to perform an update. Um, so far, I don't think we've had enough submissions that any will be able to, or any of those can be updated in that sense, but I think, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, that is uh, a good potential for the journal. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, because so far we, much effort has been put into just the structure of the journal. We pretty recently uh, adopted the bylaws for the project, but now that we will focus more on having more publications, I think uh, we may see more change. Yes. Yes, thank you for your presentation. I was wondering the Wiki Journal or Wikipedia Journal project to create a kind of platform for other journals. Is it already on the incubator? Are you pushing it forward or something like this? Or? Um, not yet on, on that level. It is still uh, all located in Wikiversity, but um, hopefully we will get it to that point within a foreseeable future. Um. What's your plan for dealing with controversies? Like someone has a at least theoretically valid paper, as far as you can tell, but it like has some incredibly crazy conclusion. Yes, we, we did have such a submission earlier this year, and it was and it was went pretty fast in the editorial board that this this doesn't seem to be something that we want, and uh, yeah, so that's how we will we deal with that. A what? Do you have letters? Journal. Do you have letters to the journal? Um, we haven't had that one yet, but we we, could sure, we would surely accept uh, letters too if we seem that it that it benefits the project. Yes. Any more questions? Yes. Hi, uh, have you had any reactions from the uh, current journal system or uh, from, uh, from uh, all the medical uh, publishers um, on, uh, on your project? 
if we have like uh, citations in external publications. Um, uh, not a, no, not really at this time. We've, we've recently come out in uh, uh, one article in uh, this uh, paper called The Conversation. And then uh, many of you have seen the paper about this journal in the w Wikipedia signpost as well. So those are the main mentions so far. Uh, f do you believe that if uh, treat this as a scientific uh, medical journal, it's going to be, let's say, at least uh, uh, scanned uh, by PubMed and uh, Thomson Reuters, or probably not, or you are going to apply for this at least? Yeah, if, we, if it will be indexed and, and people will be able to search it in, in PubMed, for example, yes, that's, um, that's a goal we need. Uh, the PubMed, they require us to publish 40 articles before they would accept us. Uh, and that's the major thing we need to accomplish first. Uh, currently we have um, 16 publications, if I remember correctly. So we still got a, a bit to go. But they're currently already uh, indexed and searchable in uh, Google Scholar. So. You can find those publications there. Yeah. Well, if there are no more questions, perhaps already the, the next presentation can start. Thank you very much. Yeah, and also want to mention here, there's a direct link to um, this journal again. Uh, well, I have to point here, of course. And uh, you can also follow what's going on on the journal's uh, pages on Facebook and Twitter. And here is my username where you can contact me. And I wonder if we can also um, look at here. see if uh, it starts but well if you click on that link you yourself on that address you will find uh, further information and links to different uh, tasks you can uh, also participate in thank you <laughs>